If you think there's too much money in politics, we want you to meet a man who's running for office with almost none. He doesn't have a super PAC, but if he did, it would probably be filled with paintbrushes. Steve Hartman found him on the road. Why someone would want to live in such a remote part of such a remote state, I haven't the remotest. It's the best of both worlds. You can have your solitude. Oh, no, you only have one world here, I actually. I have one world. Yes. Well, <laughs> the best of both worlds. Yes. You can have your solitude, and you can always go to town and have coffee with your neighbors. If one ever moved in, of course. Fact is, living here, 50 miles outside Great Falls, Montana, there's just one thing harder than getting a neighbor for coffee. Getting a stranger to vote for you. Letting the people of Montana know that Jim O'Hara is running for governor. This is scaffolding. Oh. Like any campaign, he started with a platform. That's where... His just happens to be plywood. That's where Jim stands. I see. And for three years now, whenever he hasn't been doing his job as a county commissioner, Jim has been putting up campaign billboards of county courthouses. How's it look? Courthouses belong to the people. Our government belongs to the people. All hand-painted in his garage, all different. He made at least one of every county courthouse in the state. Then came the hard part, putting them up in that county. You know, Montana is no Rhode Island. Driving across the state to put up a sign, or two, or three, can be a thousand mile round trip road trip. And Jim has made dozens of such trips, logging well over 20,000 miles, which may sound crazy, but he says it's all a regular Jim can do nowadays. It's become a game for wealthy people. And I think there's some good leaders that aren't wealthy that can't buy the name recognition. See, sometimes I wonder, well, is it really that great to be governor? Is it really worth it? I hear they have a great big kitchen. Oh, really? This is Jim's campaign manager and wife, Vicki. Yeah, it's like, hurry up, honey, I want to cook in that kitchen. <laughs> of course, she also thinks her husband is the best man for the job. And he certainly has shown the will for it despite a recent poll that puts him with just 3% in the Republican primary. But Jim remains confident and eager to change that tide without changing himself. Well, that thought crossed my mind. What if I do win this thing and how am I gonna keep grounded? Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About staying grounded, right? That's right. Yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Hartman, on the road, near Great Falls, Montana.